it's been a couple of weeks since my last vlog and I was going to get up early this morning go up to Glencoe and find a new location for you. Anyway, I've woke up an early early and there's not a cloud in the sky. It's very harsh sunlight as you can probably see by the cap and the knees are out. So I'm actually sitting here at the Balahoos Visitor Centre which is an unashamed plug because that's where my gallery is. But across the road from there is a quarry, Balahoolish quarry. It's uh, lots of large parts of, of Glasgow and Edinburgh are slated with Balahoolish slate. So I'm going to go into the quarry and then I'm going to turn right and there's a walk called Brecklet Walk. And there's a few little old cottages there which might make a good photo. But also at the end there's the River Larrack. And I know that the azaleas are out and they're going to have some beautiful flowers sticking there with the river flowing through it. So that's going to be my final destination. And hopefully we can get some slow shutter stuff with that water and the nice flowers. So come and join me. I've walked up to the top of the quarry here and uh, off the main track there's a little sort of footpath that comes off for a viewpoint across the village of Balahoolish uh, and looking out over the lock it's a wonderful viewpoint actually. Um, but somebody's put a nice bit of slate here and there's a bit, little verse on it which is quite poignant and quite relevant I think. Alone amongst the mountains a man can have dignity and uh, I really quite like that. Um, and, and that's the thing with, with photography, it is dignity. It is the fact that an image is not just the final photograph. It's all that is is a memory of, of the journey that you made to get that image. And the problem is I find sometimes you force photography a little bit. You're specifically going somewhere to get a great shot. If you don't get it, you get a bit fed up and or you're going to get a competition shot that needs to get you 18 points or 16 points or something like that. Um, and I think the thing is with photography is, is we forget that it's an experience and, and, and having that image is a memory of, of, of that moment in time when you took it. Um, and I'm having a great morning, the light's great, the lovely day I've got with the dog, um, all my cares and worries are gone and, and whatever images I get this morning um, it will remind me of that. Um, so yeah, I really quite like that. Alone in the mountains, a man can have dignity. So we're heading into the forest now and as we get in a bit further you can see that light is still there and it's very harsh now it's about 11 o'clock in the morning and it's very harsh look at those horrible shadows in my face as we move through so this is actually going to be the last of the light and as we get right into the forest this forest here is planted by the forest commission and it's all just bog standard conifers to be harvested um, and the, the thing is is when you get further into the forest the canopy is so thick over the top here um, that it gets very dark and so I'm not too worried about light. If we get a few little dappled rays coming through I'd be quite excited but I know the footpath a bit higher up here and these conifers are about 30-40 years old now uh, and they're quite tall a bit lower down so I'm hoping for a nice little shot maybe some 
sort of big vertical shot here maybe so i'll go and have a look if we can find some nice trees i've got to be careful of my converging verticals and i'll explain a little bit about that when we've taken the shot and we edit it a bit later on um, but let's go and have a look for a nice track with these really high pine forest here so further up we go into Brecklick woods here and this was all conifers that were planted by the forestry commission and um, it does make the canopy is so dark further on in and um, it does get a little bit scary sometimes i'll be running up this late at night and the um it's it's so dark i get a bit twitchy <laughs> So we're deep in the forest now and uh, I've got a great shot I've just set up here, I really quite like it. Um, these pines are about 40 odd metres high and uh, it just makes for a great shot with some real height to them. And it's about midday so the light is quite high, the sun is really quite high in the sky. And what that's doing is it's, it's bringing in all this nice sort of dappled light coming in. You can see how bright it is on my face and no normal photographer would be out at this time of day with no clouds in the sky taking images because the sky would be just too overexposed. The light is very harsh and not very nice. But by getting into this nice canopy and just this dappled light coming in, it works really well. I'm going to show you the shot that I've set up. Let me just come around. And so here's my photo and here's the, here's the camera and you can see the shot it's set up. I'm hide that. And I've got it quite low down with the with the trees. Let me come away from the, the camera itself and I'll show you actually what we were looking at. So what I've got is I've got this lovely leading line down here. This is the, the nice track that goes down into the forest itself. And then because the light is coming in, the sun is really quite high, but coming this way, what I've got is I've got these trees here. And you can see that on the left hand side of the trees, it's nice and bright. And on the right hand side, it's all in shade and shadow. And what that's doing is it's giving me some depth to the photograph. And also then what I've got is I've got the trees and the height of the trees. So let me just pan up and show you the height of those trees. And these are about 40 meters high. And you can see that. Oh, that's quite a nice shot. I quite like that. You know what? I might come back to that shot actually in a minute. Um, if I come back down again, you'll see that the the trees are all sort of coming in and converging into one sort of area. So one thing I need to be careful of is something called converging verticals. And what that is, is it's a distortion effect of the lens. Um, and when you do sort of lots of things going up into the sky, like these trees here, um, they all kind of bend in a little bit and converge in from the center. Um, and if you do an architectural photography, that can be a problem sometimes, because if you're doing a church or something like that, then the steeple will bend in the way. Now, Photoshop and Lightroom does correct for this, and that's actually quite handy. Um, but actually, I might use that effect to my benefit here. And I think I'm going to try and keep that converging in um, just to give that sort of drama and a, a bit more character to this. So I'll see in post-production. I might remove the converging verticals, but I might keep it in. So let's have a look at it. So what I've had to do is I've had to focus stack a little bit here. So I've taken three shots, um, one quite low with a tree near in the foreground, one a midway up and then one a good way away, just to focus that because I am quite close to these trees here. Um, this is not a massive shot, so it's not a big landscape shot. So I don't actually need F11 or anything like that. So I'm going to go for the sharpest of the lens, which is F8. So this is why I've gone F8 here, because I haven't got that really massive sort of landscape, which I usually take.
Now, while I was taking this shot, I did actually pan up to the sky a little bit just to have a look at that canopy. Um, and I found this fantastic image, which it's not something I usually shoot because I'm, I'm big on landscapes. Um, but uh, yeah, I got this fantastic. I'm going to try and show you on the uh, handheld camera here and I'm going to pan up. Let's see if that helps me. Here we go. And what you can see is, is if you come all the way up, all the trees sort of go up and then if I leave it like that, that shot there is fantastic. Can you see how all the trees sort of give you some real depth to it? And it's an unusual because it's kind of a micro landscape photograph, which is something I never shoot really. But I actually really quite like that. So I'm going to have a look at this. I'm going to have a go at this, shoot it. I've got to be careful of overexposure, but um, really it's a contrast between light and dark. Um, but that's a wonderful image. So <laughs> sometimes just, just looking somewhere else gives you a great image that you don't really expect. A few years ago this was uh, farmland and this was an old croft here. Um, I tell my uh, wee one that this is the witch's house, it always scares him a little bit. Um, and it's uh, just a derelict croft and, and, and what they did is they built, you can see the forest all around it and uh, this was forested about 40 years ago, something like that. Um, but yeah this croft is, is great, it's obviously a bit dicey so hence the, the dodgy side. But that's the main house there and as I turn around there's a little buyer there, which is was used for the sort of farm buildings and stuff like that. Um, the fact there's a nice massive tree growing in the middle would make for quite a nice shot. Um, and maybe when the sun is around a little bit further sometime, uh, I might come back here and revisit this. But yeah, this is the, the scary witch's houses at Breckford. <laughs> So, I've kind of got a bit of bad news. So I've just come down to the end of the track and I'm getting back into the Balahuli village and this is where I was going to end up. This is the River Larrick next to me. And um, yes, the uh, azaleas were all out, supposed to be, but we've had a very heavy frost um, this morning and it's been a bit of a disaster. I'm going to flip you around and show you what's happened. But here, is all the beautiful azaleas and they're all dead completely gone oh, and every single flower even all the way down is the same they're all dead so that's it for another year I'm afraid um, I'm gonna have to come back another time um, I might wait a little bit let all this horrible sort of dirtiness come off the trees and then maybe a bit later on sometime the other flowers will start flowering in a few weeks time so maybe i might come back to this location and have another few another go at it uh, but yeah that's a bit of an anticlimax i'm sorry about that anyway we got some great shots in the forest so uh, i'm still very happy um, and i'll just revisit this another time so thank you very much for watching um, i hope you enjoyed that video um, comment below if you which photo you liked. If you like the abstract one looking up in the canopy, or you preferred the foreground with the leading line, and uh, just let me know which one. I'm I'm sort of swavering between the two. Um, if you like this video, just give me a thumbs up. It just gives me some feedback. I like it when I get a bit of feedback because it keeps me enthusiastic to do these videos. And if you really like it, you can click on the old subscribe button for me. And if you click on the bell notification then you'll never miss any more good content like this. Much appreciated for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.
Oh yeah, that's looking good. Yeah, more. Yeah, more. Give me a bit of pout. Yeah, moody, moody. That's it, look sad. Oh, look at that moodiness. Pat those lips, pat those lips. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've had enough of this, I'm off.